Hi, welcome to another video from SQLMaestros.com. My name is Amit Bansal and I will be your host for this video. In this video, I am going to talk about a few, few quick things around cardinality estimation. What exactly is cardinality estimation? Cardinality estimation is SQL Server optimizes estimation of the number of rows that are going to be returned versus the actual number of rows that are being returned. Now, what does that mean? For example, you submit a workload to SQL Server. SQL Server will estimate the amount of rows that should be returned for a particular workload. Suppose it estimates that 100 rows are going to be returned and actually 100 rows are being returned. This means cardinality estimation was perfect. For example, instead of 100 rows that SQL Server estimated, only one row is being returned. In this particular case, cardinality estimation was not all that good. Cardinality estimation is very important for the optimizer to produce a good execution plan. Cardinality estimation is heavily dependent on statistics. Now, statistics is completely uh, a different story, but to put it simply, statistics is nothing but data about data. SQL Server will maintain statistics uh, for your columns that are there in, in tables. Now, there are a lot of factors around whether auto create stats is turned on and how many indexes you have, whether you have used a particular column in your predicate, so on and so forth. So I'm not going to focus on statistics here. I'm going to talk about cardinality estimation. Now let's take an example. This is understandable that if uh, the op uh, for the optimizer, uh, for, for good cardinality estimation, it is heavily dependent on statistics. But how does SQL Server uh, do cardinality estimation if it cannot use statistics? Now by that what I mean is SQL Server has to do cardinality estimation under scenarios even when it cannot use statistics. In this quick demo, I am going to show you when SQL Server cannot use statistics, how does it do cardinality estimation? So let's watch the demo. Let's begin. I'm using AdventureWorks 2012 for this demo. Before I run my scripts, I will turn on actual execution plan or press Control M. There's a table in AdventureWorks 2012, sales order header, which has a column total queue. I run a very simple script, select star from sales order header, and I filter on total queue. After I execute the script, let's observe the execution plan. So here is the execution plan for our script. If I take the mouse cursor over one of the arrows here, I can look at cardinality estimation that is being done by SQL Server Optimizer. In this particular script, you can observe that SQL Server Optimizer estimated 1.7 rows versus one row that is being returned. So cardinality estimation was good. Let's go back to the script and change the value to something like 472.3108. So the script, the workload remains the same. I just changed the predicate value. When I execute this script, and let's observe the execution plan again, and let's look into cardinality estimation. In this case, the optimizer estimates 1.9 rows. So if you remember, earlier it was 1.7 and this time it's 1.9 versus 21 rows that is being returned. Now, SQL Server optimizer is actually using statistics behind the scene. So there, are, there is a statistics object for total due column. More precisely, SQL Server optimizer is using, is using something called as histogram to estimate the number of rows that are being returned. So every time we change uh, this value and supply a different value, SQL Server is actually going to uh, use the histogram to compute the estimated number of rows. Now let's look uh, at this script. Now there is there's a slight change that I have done in this script. Instead of supplying uh, my value as a, as a constant, as a literal, I instead use local variable. So I declare a local variable of type float and I set the value to 1457. This is the same parameter value that I used in the previous script. And then I supply this local variable for my parameter. When I execute this script, I get one row that is being returned. Let's look into the execution plan and observe the cardinality estimation. So this time, SQL Server estimates 6.6 .6 rows versus one row that is being written. Now this is interesting because earlier with the same parameter value, SQL Server Optimizer estimated 1.7 rows, but this time it is, uh, it is estimating 6.6 .6 rows. What's happening? Let's go and play around with the script a little more and change the value to 472. Now remember, 
when we earlier used the uh, previous script and we used this value 4.7 for uh, 472 the optimizer estimated 1.9 rows let me execute this and when we look into the execution plan and observe the cardinality estimate uh, estimation sql server again estimates 6.6 .6 rows versus 21 rows now again we get 6.6 .6. Um, earlier we got 1.9. This is interesting because every time when we use a local variable, SQL Server is estimating a fixed 6.6 .6 number of rows. And, and take any value, for example, let's go and change this to something else and run the script and look into execution plan and take, our, take the cursor over the arrow and you will see 6.6. .6. So what we see here is when we use local variable, SQL Server optimizer is using a fixed estimation of 6.6 .6 rows. So the question here is, where exactly is this 6.6 .6 value coming in? And is the optimizer actually using statistics? Now in the intro video, I said there are scenarios when the optimizer will not use the statistics. What I meant by that uh, was the optimizer in this particular case is not able to use the histogram. The reason being is the value of this local variable is not available to the optimizer until the runtime. So it does a default estimation. Now where, how does it do this default estimation? There is a simple formula for this. The formula to do this default estimation is total number of rows in this particular table, sales.salesorderheader multiplied by density. So SQL Server uh, will maintain density information for every column uh, in the statistics. So apart from maintaining histogram, it also maintains density. And how is density computed? Density calculation is, uh, is one divided by the number of distinct values for that column. So when this is computed together, SQL Server uses this formula to uh, estimate the number of uh, rows uh, when, in, when, when, it, when it cannot use uh, histogram. So let's put this, uh, let's apply values to this uh, formula. So total number of rows we can get from count, which is 31465. And distinct values in total due is 4754. And this is the query that I used to compute uh, the default estimation, which is total number of rows multiplied by density. And den density is 1 by the number of distinct values in that particular column. This gives us 6.6186, etc., etc., that we see as the default estimation. So here uh, is a quick demo to show you that the SQL Server optimizer uh, does default estimation uh, in case when we use local variable. It's not using the histogram. It is just using the density information. So in this quick uh, demo, you saw how SQL Server does cardinality estimation under scenarios when it cannot use the histogram. So I, I will correct myself in the intro video. I said that the optimizer is not using statistics. It does use statistics, but not the histogram. It's using density information. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if yes, do share it. You can learn more about us on sqlmaestros.com. You can follow us on Twitter at the rich SQL Maestros and on Facebook slash SQL Maestros. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit amitbansal.net. You can follow me on Twitter, a underscore Bansal and on Facebook, Amit R.S. Bunsen.